W1VLF. Hey everybody, W1VLF again. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> uh, I, I just had one more thing I wanted to show. What I'm doing here right now is I'm going to introduce, this is with the, the noise cancellation uh, device. And, and I'll try to be, hold the camera a little more still this time. I, I looked at that video and it was really all over the place, but I'll try to do better. I'm going to inter, I'm going to, um, introduce a, uh, interferer, purposeful interferer. And that's going to be with this, uh, RF generator and a, and a small piece of wire so we can see just how well it would do with a, with a local interferer. Not trying to cancel out any other stations. I'm just trying to add in a local interferer into the station I'm listening to and then get rid of it. So let's, uh, let's see how that works. All right, again, we're, we're here with um, the Air Spy and we're listening to uh, 1030. 1030 here is uh, in Boston. Trying to do this a little more stably. Um, there's the noise canceller. And here's what we're gonna mix it with. I have a little antenna outdoors and the, the RF generator is set to 1030 plus 500 cycles. So we'll see exactly where that interferer is and how well um, the cancellation works for getting rid of that carrier. So RF comes out of the generator over to this switch and then this goes into my sense antenna out in the woods. It's, it's a VLF antenna. It's in between both of the, both the beverage and the uh, HF antenna. We're going to take a look at 1030 and see how that works. And then I'll just switch it on and off up here. Okay, so all these, I tried to build into this patch panel. Well, let's just talk about the patch panel real quick. I have the uh, QS1R receiver here, which uh, is not in, not, not, it's all, it's brought up here. The two, the two antenna inputs for the uh, RSP Duo, antenna one, antenna two. And then there's uh, an RSP DX, A and B, and C as well. And then there is the HF plus, um, HF plus, um, plus the VHF. This one labeled lab goes into the other room so I can pipe any antenna I want into the other room. There's also an attenuator here and that hasn't been labeled yet, but that goes in and out here. So if I want to attenuate any given signal at any time, I can. I also have a 10 megahertz output from a GPS clock and one of those Leo Bodner boards so I can generate any frequency that I want between like 800 hertz and um, I don't know, whatever it is, 800 megahertz, something like that. I, don't, I forget. That's probably wrong. So I'm going to bring you down to the computer now. Try to do this slowly past the second monitor. And I'm gonna sit my big butt down here and we'll take a listen. It's become a lifesaver. Unquote. You know, good quality Unquote. signal, right? No problem. So I'm gonna reach up and, and check and hit that switch. And now you can see that there's an interferer and we'll spread them out a little bit. Okay, here's the carrier that I'm interjecting 500 cycles above 1050, excuse me, 1030. All right, so now uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play around with the phase control here. Let me, uh, let me move my mouse. I'm gonna play around with the amplitude of both antennas. Okay, and phase. turn that down. No, I won't because I want to hear that beat.
There we go. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is re reverse that phase control so that and there it is. Okay. It's a little bit of drift here in the uh, controls because I've been turning them so much lately. But there it is. If you had a, if you had an interfering carrier that was, you know, obliterating the signal. Boom. Let me adjust it again. Get it right. Then that's on. Day three of classes surround Massachusetts getting disrupted by so-called swatting threat calls. WBC's Nicole Davis with more on what we know. Everywhere from it's a little tough to do this when, when the carrier's not right on the same frequency. Another round of seemingly indiscriminate threats against schools. All of them were investigated quickly by police in their respective... Anyway, you get the idea. Just wanted to show you that. the uh, Without the face cancellation... With the phase cancellation, you can see even switching it on and off has an effect because there's a there's a switch in series there, and it things need to be cleaned up a little bit there. All right, so with the phase cancellation on, unusable with it off, quite usable with it on. Okay, that's it. Just wanted to show you that other uh, piece. W1VLF signing out.